should have built these windows a little bit lower. It does make it kind of hard to look out the window first thing in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, from what we can see for a split second at a time, it's beautiful. Six o'clock in the morning. I'm the only one in the house. I'm not sure why I slept with my door closed, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and meet downstairs and go make some coffee. I right, will just fire that up. Man, a little bit easier to look out these windows. That's great, let's just go right to the patio. We haven't really got a chance to spend a lot of time out there, especially after that last uh, day, that last day, that last month. March was a, uh, March was a brain and back breaker. Oh my gosh. But uh, if you read the description of the previous video, episode 19, today we make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Uh, we're going to, in no expert fashion, employ uh, some course play to help us uh, accomplish a couple of our goals. Let's get that coffee and we'll go hop in a tractor and head over to, uh, head over to the site and we'll, we'll talk about what we're going to do. Got some Folgers in my cup. Today we got a couple things to do. First, I gotta shut a door without decapitating myself. Uh, let me just hop in the the uh, the app here, and I'll show you what uh, what the field situation is. All right, uh, so this is what our current setup looks like. So these are the sunflower fields we planted in the last episode. This is Mega Field, uh, which. It's funny, I'm calling it Mega Field, and I've seen the odd other episode that I've managed to keep try to keep up with in some of these series, and by no means is that a big field compared to some, but uh, I'm telling you right now, that's one of my biggest fields I've ever made. So I'm going to call that Mega Field. Uh, this was one we harvested in the last episode, and we're waiting for this one right here. This is the wheat field that I think we're about a month away from. These two should be ready at the same time. Wheat, canola, and this one maybe one month behind. It is also wheat. Today, though, we have this field of oats that are ready for harvest, of which we're going to utilize a course play worker, I guess. I don't know what we're going to call them. We're going to we're going to use a, a worker on the harvester, and a uh, and we're going to try to use another worker to help uh, cart for that harvester. And of course, it couldn't just be a big rectangular field; it had to be like a weird shape field. So, anyways, I think we'll pull it off. Uh, also. This field here should be ready to mow. We're going to go take a look at that. Actually, it's right outside the door, so we'll just confirm. I've been watching it each month, and I think we're ready. We want to put a field in here that basically takes this whole area here. So we're going to try our best and use a worker to do that. And then while they're doing all of that, we'll go and run a bunch of errands. There should be a few things to sell here. Let's go check that app quickly. Uh, so here, we'll just scroll down here together, look for any uh, positive numbers. Nothing, nothing really. We're not selling the TMR. We're feeding it to our animals. So far, no opportunities. We're not there with silage at 660. We want to get that about $100 more. We're not selling hay. We're not selling straw. Our cake is a little bit off. I guess, we, uh, yeah, we're, we're not there with cake. Uh, we'll, we'll watch these. If they happen to change, then obviously we uh, might get lucky. We're using butter, we're using sugar, sunflower oil we already tapped out. We're way off in canola oil and we're way off in olive oil. Grape juice is getting close. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the day. We're using the strawberries, none of the wood products, no. We can sell pig food today for almost $8,000. It looks like we could sell the straw crates. We're actually not too far off with the uh, straw accessories. So if we find ourselves needing some money, we have lots of opportunities. I mean, if you look, if we took everything and sold it right now, we got $2 million. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so let's open this. Perfect fit. Oh yeah, look at that. That, that grass is ready, isn't it? Yep. Just what, we know, <laughs> just what we needed, another half a million liters of grass. We may, uh, if we're looking for a little bit of filler today, then we may actually uh, set a worker to. Well, we'll figure out what we'll, we'll figure out where the the most lucrative selling uh, point is, and we may send somebody off with maybe ten loads or something. One of those oats. So we're going to be able to further beef up our flour production today. 
Let's get this guy out. Let's start with what may be one of the more challenging things today. For me. <laughs> Let's go make a field. Try to stop dragging the cultivator through the yard. It's funny, but if you saw this tractor coming, you might think it had more power than 200 horsepower. It kind of presents itself as a bit more of a beast. All right, so we've got our new best friend <laughs> making a field for us. Now, I did start recording over there where we started the field, but uh, I didn't actually hit record, so we're picking it up now. Anyways, yeah, so I set up, I, I, so I'm gonna have to go in afterwards, I think, and probably buy myself a little bit more width down at the far end, because he didn't quite go as wide as I would have wanted uh, this field to be. Um, but you know what, the, the almost 40 minutes that this is calling for um, is work that can be done by this guy instead of myself, <laughs> which is makes me feel pretty good because, uh, I mean, I spent a lot of hours in this game just going around in circles. All right, so maybe I don't fully grasp all of the intricacies <laughs> as we make corners like that, but you know what? It's a good start. <laughs> what the heck was that? Anyway, it doesn't even matter. We'll clean it up. I'll, I will spend more time learning about this amazing tool um, between now and the next time we use it, but I just wanted to get uh, get things rolling here, and this guy's going to save us about 40 minutes of work. as we Because you definitely can't set a traditional worker up for this. I mean, every, everybody can kind of see why, because he would just drive straight across the map. Uh, when I was playing around with course play, I was also uh, playing around with a couple potential future harvesters, uh, and I've got my eyes on one. That uh, the next big spend we do is going to include a, another tractor, hopefully, and uh, and a new harvester. Uh, looks like we've got about a hundred liters in here. All right. I have no patience. Uh, we'll get ourselves to about a little over half a tank. Oh, we got the uh, we got the well-dressed man today here, folks, with his nothing, nothing says farmer like uh, tan linen pants, or almost white, I guess, and your uh, check button-down shirt. All right, so the one place that I don't know anything about is like these. So I, obviously, this is not a great setup here. Uh, this. Um, Blocked by an object. All right, so we'll take over here quickly. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out uh, this this corner here with the um, with the fence. I did I did run uh, this harvester around in a test to see what would happen, and I've not been able to navigate this fence in any good way on the first uh, the first go round. Okay, and the one other problem I had is this corner over here. Uh, no matter whether I put it on sharp corners or uh, smooth corners, when I get to this corner over here, it doesn't go so well. I do want to, to well, I mean, I say, oh, I want a mega cow enclosure, and meanwhile, I, I don't have any cows. <laughs> I've, I've got very few cows. Yeah, look, he's, he must be on smooth corners. I don't even know, but here, hold on, let me fix this too. Um, yes, anyway, so I do want uh, a sub substantial amount of cows uh, creating... Uh, milk for us. Uh, so I want to put a big building in. Oh, this is going to be messy, isn't it? I, I want to put like a large cow building and I probably want to put it in the in the space where the existing cows are. Uh, so when that happens, then I will take this field into account and we'll make it a little bit more worker friendly. Yeah, like don't forget, I, I've, I've never used course play before. So this is all like setting this up and everything and, and you know, keeping in mind a field that's going to be easy for a worker to go and do. Uh, it's never been part of my uh, farming DNA, so I will I will keep a little more space between the uh, between the fences and the fields from here on out. This guy here is going to be carting for the harvester, but before that happens, we've got some pig food to sell here at the sell everything container. The price is right, 
and that's the sell point, so we're good. It's funny, uh, I mean, 1,800 liters still pays you, uh, I want to say it was almost $8,000. All right, so yeah, almost $9,000 really with the environmental bonus. That's not so bad. That should be a safe position for this guy to wait while the uh, combine does its thing. Okay, let's quickly go check on the guy creating the field to make sure he hasn't started creating a field in the river, and then we will go and grab some of those straw crates. All right, bonus. Oh, okay, so a little bit in the corner I missed over there maybe. Could just be uh, an illusion, but man, it feels so good knowing that there's a field getting created and I'm not the one doing it right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I am paying this person, obviously. Oh, there's, there's a question for you. Do you leave your worker compensation for course play at 100% or do you pay them like 50% just because you're a cheapskate? Let me know what you do and uh, maybe I'll do the same. I guess I'm just looking for somebody to justify my... I'm at 100% right now, but I kind of want to be 50%. So if I can be a cheapskate, let me know. Oh, look at these guys. Okay. This is going to be a problem when we get to the end, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> just showers the other worker with green. Yeah, because now he's going to do a bit of a juggling act here to get around this corner. He's blocked, but will he back up? Oh my god, they're both backing up. What in the actual hell is going on here? It's working. I'm assuming, the, so the first time everybody uses course play and, and something like that actually works, it's probably like when they invented penicillin. And they were like, oh my god, this is going to help everybody. Well, I guess it's kind of like course, it's course play and penicillin, very similar in that way. Alright, I see, now he's getting a little bit smooth on those corners. Maybe I'm set to smooth corners, who the hell knows? <laughs> we'll check that later. But for a first go, I'm uh, pleased. So he says he says he's still got 44 minutes. That's that's long, but anyways, we'll let that happen. All right, so we're gonna get this guy to run a couple errands around the farm here while the uh, the rest of the vehicles are in use, and uh, and then we'll and then we'll probably get him mowing. We're gonna have to buy some. Chicken food. Where am I going? Anyways, let's let's make this as difficult as possible for myself. Uh, we're gonna need to buy some chicken food uh, because our our ducks are are not gonna make it if if we don't. We're running out of uh, food, um, and we're still like we saw earlier. Uh, I'm gonna sell this too at the same time. I think it's gonna be worth about four grand, so might as well. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we need to we need to head up to town. Um, I'm not paying the five percent. Uh, shop delivery levy. Uh, I say 5% because I did, well, I didn't do it. Uh, Gaming Joy uh, did it for me. Um, set my uh, store deliveries to 5%. Just trying to make things a, a little more of a challenge, anyways. Not, the, But then they it turned out to be a pretty good challenge, anyways. Uh, straw crates spawn everything we got. We're going to go up there and pick up some, some, some food for the birds. Uh, I th think this is how you would adjust your trailer, right? Um, yeah, on the, the shopping list, I mean, I mentioned a harvester and, uh, and probably one more tractor, um, but also a telehandler and a wider uh, planter. Planter is the one that you put corn in with, right? Corn and sunflowers. The current, uh, current piece of equipment we have is, is quite uh, inadequate. Let's get this little partial pallet here, even though it sure looks the same as a full pallet. All right, no massive, uh, no massive 
income generating gener- generation generators today. It's funny when you've got you know a couple million dollars worth of stuff sitting in your uh, in your productions, but you know maybe not necessarily ready to uh, to sell. It kind of gets your imagination going with what you could potentially do. Uh, so it looks like the combine's still going and the tractor's way on the other side, so they must be working together still, somehow. It's fantastic. It's one thing that I, I haven't had a lot of luck with is getting the, uh, forage wagon to work. Um, and I, I imagine I need to, uh, maybe a combination of course play and auto drive, maybe? Is that it? I, I, basically, it's... I've not figured out a way for me to get the 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 windrow forge wagon combination to go around the field, pick up whatever's on the ground, and then go and empty itself when it's full. So that's uh, expert level Jedi stuff, I think. I'm not there yet. Uh, so we're going to probably take the auto load trailer let's take a look at the grape juice and see what that's worth yes okay grape juice not a lot of grape juice there but i mean we should have almost nine pallets no actually no that's not right because remember grape juice is a stupid one it comes out of like 400 liters so but there's still almost 50 grand there i mean we're going to shortchange ourselves a bit but i don't want to go up to the store empty-handed i would like to sell something on the way up All right, I guess we can watch here because this guy's at 85% now and I have him set to empty when he's over 85%. I think we can see him coming down the road right now. So at some point I was thinking that I would uh, kind of unload this little dutes and, and, have, uh, and look for something more powerful, but for the purpose... Ooh. A funky little corner there. There's not a lot of weight in that, and once you put some grain behind it, it has a hard time stopping. But um, yeah, I was thinking that if I, I sold that and got something with more power, that I might be better off. But you know what? I, I like these little tractors for carting. Anyways, that's good. I thought I I thought I loaded this pallet, but I think I'm probably set to only load full pallets. I think that's a setting an auto load, isn't it? So it's not gonna like this. All right, I don't think we should have, there probably won't be too much excitement on the way up here. We, uh, this tractor should be able to handle this hill, no problem, I mean, 9,000 liters of uh, grape juice can't be that heavy. Famous last words, right? As it takes me three days to get up the hill, probably. As I was, uh, I, so we cruised up the hill with no issue. Uh, there's not a lot of weight here, but I was looking back at the uh, at the field that was being harvested and it kind of made me a little sad. It's sort of like when your kid knows how to make its own breakfast. <laughs> it's like, man, what do you mean you don't need me to make breakfast anymore? All of a sudden now I can just set the workers up to do the work and, and I don't have to do it. I, I, I will definitely jump in and harvest uh, at times here. I'm not going to become fully uh, dependent on the assistance mods, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, there we go. Almost 50 grand. Perfect. Now we, now we can afford to buy some food for our birds. Is it just me or has anybody ever noticed that like, so take this for example, Here's a 600 liter bag of assuming wheat or whatever, but, but called chicken food. So if I buy one bag, 600 liters, $600. If I buy two bags, it charges me for one bag, but then also charges me for two bags. So now I've paid, uh, now that I have 1200 liters and I've paid $1,800 and so on. It always keeps that extra bag price in there. 
Now, if I go up to, uh, so if I go up to a thousand liter bag, a thousand liter bag is, uh, uh, I want to say it's twelve hundred dollars. Here, look. Yeah, sorry. A one thousand liter bag is now fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> so I'm paying more money to, to get the bigger bag. Now I don't really want to f- f- mess around. I was about to say something else. I don't really want to mess around with too many bags here. Look at this. Two. Th- so this is now a better deal. So we were where we where we wanted a thousand liters. We were going to pay a four hundred dollar premium for that one thousand liters. Now you're paying a two hundred dollar premium on every thousand liters. But look, I want two of them. There's the twenty four hundred dollar. Oh, that's actually, see now it's now it's calculating. Now it's so we're in the in the case of the six hundred dollar bag. The six hundred stayed here, and every time I wanted so if I wanted two, this would have said. This would have said $4,800, but now it's not calculating. Well, this doesn't make any sense. I, I don't want to mess around with a ton of bags, so I'm going to just basically uh, pay a premium here, I guess. I don't know. It's dumb. Maybe I need to look at, uh, I think, Josh, you have one of those bulk, uh, you can buy bulk animal feed too, can't you? I don't want to get into the habit of buying uh, food for the animals because we're going to ha- be harvesting wheat here at some point. I feel like I just got robbed at the store. Speaking of the store, when I was in there talking to the salesperson, like I, I, I don't have a lot of luck. I don't have an, a mod on or anything that assists the the sale because I think there's a mod that sort of pumps up your sale, isn't there? Um, anyways, I'm not I'm not buying this track, but but like I don't often go in here and see this many uh, this many vehicles. Look at that thing! What the heck? All right, I think that one's held on pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. The dangerous farmer. What do you think the kids are doing back at the farm right now? I think they're still working or they know that I'm not there so they've stopped. Try to get those ones over the straps, so at least they'll be a little more secure. I imagine the salespeople are probably looking out the window watching me do this, just wondering what is wrong with this guy. I mean, they did offer to help me. All right, good job. We left with out buying another tractor. <laughs> we have a couple bucks in the bank, but uh, I mean, we've got workers to pay and and uh, and stuff. So I can't see us adding any new equipment today, unless maybe at the end of the day, for some reason, one of the uh, one of our uh, products that we've got sitting there ready to sell jumps up in value, and we uh, we get a bit of a windfall. But yeah, I can't see that happening. All right, I think we'll take it easy around this corner here so we don't dump it in the river. Send the ducks to go eat out of the river if that's the case. And then we'll go figure out who f- says they finished their job. I don't know, is it possible they're still working but it, the finished job is still the notification from the other tractor? I'm gonna leave this here for a second and we'll go, we'll go take a look. All right, so these these two clowns are still going at it. This guy's at 72%, so he's not going to be unloading yet. And I did have a look. The field creating worker is definitely done, or thinks he's done anyway, so we'll have to go and get, uh, get that tractor. Actually, we've got a, a little bit of... Uh, probably field correction there to do 
uh, before before it's truly done. I guess we got to get those eggs over to production as well. I don't know. I got to figure out who uh, who needs eggs. Chances are, if I had a farm of of the size that we are now, um, never mind the productions, you know, because there's obviously some jobs there, but just the amount of uh, work around the farm that would have to be done, I likely would have some help because I don't think I'm feeding animals and, uh, you know, tending to the fields and, and moving things to the specific uh, productions and all of that. I don't think I'm doing all that by myself in, in reality. Like the amount of time that it takes to change a header on, uh, on a harvester uh, here we just hit you know a button and it f drops one and picks up the other one in reality that is obviously much more of a job because there's weight there and you know maybe you got a bolt that's corroded and and you got to like use a hammer to, <laughs> to hammer to, to 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 you know make the change and all that so I think uh, we're a little spoiled here we can get a lot more done in a day I guess is what I'm trying to say uh, I noticed some male ducklings Bye bye. So I guess all of our older ducks have either moved on to that big pond in the sky or they've been sold off and retired. Because it looks like we, or, or am I dreaming that we had like 28 month old ducks at one point? I'd be curious to check the stats at the for this month at the end of the day, if it shows how much wages we've paid to workers, it might make me sick. All right, I'll leave those eggs there. There, we'll just grab that another time. Just leave it there, it's out of the way for now. Now that we're gonna have uh, robo workers flying around here, I wanna make sure that uh, I keep everything off the roads. All right, I think next step for us is going to be to uh, go grab the brick and have it finish We'll go just kind of touch up the edges of the field uh, that we just created and uh, that way we can get a tractor out there with the... Oh, we're blocked by an object. Uh, let's give them a second to figure that out and if they haven't, we'll go rescue. But um, yeah, we'll get some lime down in that uh, far field and then we can get somebody... Uh, we can get somebody to start putting some seeds in there. We'll get the sorghum going. Oh, I was going to say, who's blocked by an object? It's this guy. Let's move this. I was just saying we can't have stuff laying around, but I wouldn't have thought this would be in the way. Okay, he was just trying to make a turn there. Oh, we're going to need this in a minute anyway, so we'll just... Dude, where you going, man? Target is unreachable. I don't think the target's unreachable. I think you're unreachable. Let's go drop this up here. That um, planter that we have, or seed or whatever, I, I gotta figure out what those are called. We'll go, we'll go drop this ourselves and then we'll come back. Um, yeah, so anyways, it, uh, it definitely cruises through the fertilizer. I don't know, uh, not overly excited with how much fertilizer it uses. I'm wondering if perhaps the spreader that I've been using for the lime. I seem to remember way early on finding out that certain certain mods are coded different ways. So they're programmed to use more or less. Do you remember the dropper way, way back at the beginning? How I was shocked at how much lime I used on the first field, but then only to find out later that I think the spreader that we have right now actually is programmed to use uh, less material. So I'm wondering if uh, if that's not too cheaty. Maybe what I should be doing is just using that 
So use the, you know, the this current setup we have for the seeds and fertilizer. Just put seeds in it and then run the fertilizer separately. That might make sense because it does use an exceptional amount of fertilizer right now. There you go, Martha. Uh, okay, let's take this long edge here first. Just make sure we're cleaned up here. It doesn't need to be perfect by any means. So I'm just, I'm coming in a little bit here because there's a weird little lump on the side of the hill here that I'm trying to avoid. I did try to plow over that once and it basically launched the tractor. Well, uh, it didn't so much launch the tractor, but the the uh, cultivator couldn't handle it. All right, bit of a wall ride at the far end there. That's okay. Let's just double check this edge here and then we'll go set up the, uh, the lime. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, we'll just fix this. <laughs> okay, the worker, the, the notification did go away there for a little while telling me that uh, whatever, whatever the notification was from needed to be unloaded. Oh, finished work. Okay, well, we'll go, we'll go double check in a second and see what that actually means. Sometimes these workers like to sort of decide they're done their work. I did notice also that with the purchase of this field, uh, we've now been given more trees. Uh, so there's trees all the way down the side here. It's a bit of a hike to the, to the middle sawmill there, but we'll have to keep those in mind. They must be harvested. All right, so we got a harvester down there just sitting there, probably done. We have a... I want to say when we left that tractor that we had set up for carting, it was on the field and now it's not. I'd love to leave this out so we can clean it, but you know what, for now, let's just nose it in here. I'm guessing that this other tractor is what uh, needs to be unloaded, is that right? Yes. So we should have a substantial amount of flour on hand now. That's a bonus. Which, yeah, I guess, I mean, you can see why the cake production is just, uh, flying. All right, let's leave this person to unload. I think it, the f funny thing about this tractor, I don't remember there ever really being much of an engine sound to it. And now, like, now I can hear it. Also, I have a sneaking suspicion that I have lime somewhere. Because I swear the... Oh, well, maybe it was just telling me what I already had in the in the um, spreader here. Uh, because I remember when I was looking at the, the time-saving stock checker that uh, shows us all the prices, I swear it gave me a price for lime and told me I had a certain amount of dollars worth of lime. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it reaches two rows. That's good. So this should fill up quickly, I think. All 
All right, no real points for style, but I think you get what I mean. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. So it does have the it does have the the reach there. Let's just rip across here. So with this straw, well, we're full in the hay the hay loft. So I'm thinking we're just gonna put this right into straw productions. It's funny. I just read a, a comment on. Uh, one of the, um, I, I actually I didn't even notice what video it is, but I'm assuming it's either the video we posted today, which was episode 19, or uh, perhaps it could be 18 or something. But uh, it, was, it was actually quite uh, quite true. Anyway, so it was somebody saying I like the the sort of the current edit was a lot faster than what some of the earlier episodes were because the the earlier ones were a lot slower. Uh, seemingly there wasn't as many cuts and and. Uh, and maybe it, I, I was still, you know, the the episode was probably still an hour, but maybe there wasn't an hour's worth of uh, of work in the episode. So uh, definitely uh, true. <laughs> the 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 amount of work to do now, uh, I think, is going to require quite a few more cuts if I want to fit the same amount of work into a day. There's just so much more to do, right? All right, we know that takes a second. It's good, our friend is still hammering away in the field over here. Oh, look at that. That's what happens when you hire an expert. All right, what do we got going on? We got Buddy just about, uh, should be done soon on that field. We have this guy collecting the straw. I need to get some seeds in that field. We may switch. I think we might put the John Deere on this, uh, this job and put this tractor over on, we're going to try to use, uh, we're going all out with workers today. And I think we're going to try to use a worker to, um, plant the plant that field in future episodes I do want to figure out how to utilize course play to get this to go pick up the straw off the ground and then fire and then and then empty itself into the straw processing now I did it has on a number of occasions told me that it uh, the target might be unreachable so I'm wondering if I need to sort of widen the roads a little bit, but anyways, that's something we want to do. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Man, we're, <laughs> this is going to be a great field. So I wonder, I wonder how this is going to change the way that I play this game now that I have the ability to really attack these, um, attack these large scale fields in a, in a sort of new way. Actually, I wonder if maybe it might be time to try a uh, try some large scale farming on a on a map because really, this I mean, when you can when you can set a worker off to go do this stuff, I, I don't like. It's it's funny I I, uh, I follow Farmer Klein uh, and watch you know pretty much everything the guy posts and I, I always like uh, his style of play uh, you know farming is my chill I think that's I agree with that it's uh, you know mine also to a certain extent but uh, I know that he always sort of says that um, you know he he's one that d doesn't use. Uh, course play and, and auto drive and that kind of stuff. And, and I always sort of subscribe to the same mindset thinking, well, yeah, I don't want to use those things. You know, I play this game because I want to do the farming, but in the end, uh, you just have to sort of figure out what works for you really. Uh, hold on. Where am I going here? I need the, I need the, uh, I need the brick over here so I can trade, trade implements. Um, yeah, you just got to sort of think, think about what's important. Like in this series here, I'm, I'm, I think it fits perfectly because I mean the, this 200 horsepower challenge, you're really trying to figure out how to do the most with what you have. And if it means utilizing some workers to get, uh, get some work done, I, I don't have a problem with that at all. I think it fits well. 
will I use them on Bally Springs? Ah, maybe if we if we we get to the point where where we need to. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that map out. If I have 2,000 pigs and 500 cows, I'm going to need some real estate there, and and I may very well want to utilize some of the local to to run my equipment for me. And uh, you know, course play would definitely come in handy there. Although what I don't know now after using it, how I would navigate some of those fields with um, with the uh, you know the the stone walls and the, and all the stuff that's around there could could provide a bit of a challenge for me. <laughs> Sixty six hundred dollars. Am I getting robbed? All right, well, let's go see if we can make sense of this. I feel like I should be doing a headland myself. Eighty-seven dollars. Uh, yes, I will take it. <laughs> that one was eleven hundred dollars, and that one was eighty-seven dollars. Go figure. pH is looking good. Actually, all of our fields look like they're in good shape. This one looks a little bit nasty. I don't think I've ever seen that color. Fertilizer is a different story. But this is, I mean, where we've harvested basically is the fertilizer. The grass never looks good. Okay, maybe this will work. So I still don't know, uh, obviously I, just asked the question earlier, so I don't still know what uh, what the impact of sharp corners versus uh, smooth corners will be. But my guess is maybe sharp corners are going to be a problem with this setup. But anyways, that's what it's set to right now. And I put it to four headlands, and I'm skipping a row. But but I'm at, I'm at four headlands are basically going to cover the entire field. I think. <laughs> Just curious to see what this worker does when he gets to, uh, or she. I don't. I don't really look to see what they, what they, who they are. But let's see how they handle the corners here. Eh, not the worst. <clears throat> All right, we're missing a little bit of opportunity, but that's okay. Cruising along at 23 kilometers per hour. Eating fertilizer like it's going out of style. All right, so nobody likes that corner. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Okay, I guess we're planting wheat. <laughs> I was gonna put sorghum in here. Actually, you know what? So maybe it's not so bad. I was gonna put sorghum in here, um, thinking that it would give me something different to feed the chickens. But I did just read, uh, I was reading some comments on, looks like episode 19 from Leo7477. Answering your question, sorghum doesn't normally produce straw. But with the extended straw crop mod, it does, and it's a pretty decent swath from what I can recall. So, all right, you know what? When we will, <laughs> the next feed, the next animal food fields we're going to plant will be uh, will be sorghum. I fully intended to do that, but uh, with the confusion and trying to get course play, anyways, this, this is a. I think I can forgive myself because there's a lot to sort of think about today with uh with trying something new so look at this we're we're down to 64 percent left in the fertilizer container and we are uh not even all the way around once all right this guy just treated that as a smooth corner that's fine we'll see what he does here and then we're gonna go continue to pick up the straw and then I kind of got a gauge at what point we're going to be cutting this episode off because 
I think with my newfound freedom here, I could make an eight-hour episode. <laughs> we could get some. We could have the entire map plowed. And we're not going to do that. All right, I think this guy's got it under control. So really, after this straw is picked up and put into the straw processing, after the field is planted and sprayed, obviously, the uh, the now new wheat field that we didn't necessarily need a wheat field, but we've got one coming. Um, once that's done, this field here needs to get uh, replanted. So I'm going to have to do that. And then uh, the grass field needs to be mowed and that grass needs to be put away. So, but um, we're likely nearing the max time that we wanted to do for this episode. So I think what I'm going to do, I mean, it's, it's a shame it's only 12 o'clock right now, but I think what I'm gonna do is between this episode and next episode, I'll get all that work done. And uh, we should be into or close to a harvesting situation uh, in the month of April. So we'll be able to enjoy that together. And uh, hopefully prices on some of our larger ticket items have, uh, have increased. And we'll be able to go and look at, uh, I mean, the fun stuff is really upgrading your equipment and, and that kind of thing. So that, that'll be... Uh, Telehandler, new harvester with a wider head, uh, and a um, uh, and an, and well, tractors and and a uh, and a planter. Planters the one I think for corn uh, and a wider wider working width for a planter. Uh, all things on the menu. Um, I hope that uh, we'll have uh, large quantities of grain suitable for feeding birds and then we can move our chicken or our ducks over into the big building and uh start our our plan for uh for that and then and then we can look at the cows and figure out what uh what we're going to do with these uh with these guys I'm, I'm hesitant to go and purchase a ton of cows um knowing that we're just going to need to move them so uh, if i can get that done sooner than later then we can really uh attack that milk production and uh, and then hopefully also generate ourselves a uh, a new seeming somewhat free way of uh of fertilizing a field right why is that tractor looks like it's just parked over there yikes okay this guy looks like he hasn't actually figured out how to make that corner yet so I think if we go here, is that because I have sharp corners on? Okay, that's not ideal. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it's, is that because it's skipping? Is it also skipping on the headlands or does it just skip up and downs? All right, well, I'm, I'll obviously have some cleaning up to do. You idiot. Yeah, anyway, so let me know what you think of the uh, foolishness that uh, that happened today with, uh, with our newfound workforce. I got I to gotta really think about how this will enable us to get more work done, how much I can use course play to get work done off camera, and, and then, you know, maybe have three or four things that we do throughout our work day and then you know i continue to uh, pound away you know off camera i guess but um yeah i don't know let me know what you think and i don't even need to tell you because you always do anyways and i appreciate that thank you yeah so with that i guess we'll uh, we'll call it a day and i will see you in uh, april may i'll see you in may all right, take it easy.